Hi guys, in today's video we're going to look at how to determine molecular mass, fragmentation patterns, how to identify fragment ions and organic structures, and finally we're going to look at an exam style question. How we can determine molecular mass. Well, when an organic compound is vaporised and driven through our mass spectrometer, some molecules will lose an electron and they become ionised, and we get a resulting positive ion here. M plus. We call this our molecular ion, so our molecule has lost an electron to become this. Now the mass of the lost electron is negligible, we can sort of ignore it, and what that means is that the molecular ion will have a molecular mass equal to the relative molecular mass of the compound. It will tell us the relative molecular mass of our compound. So looking at the mass spectra of methane here, we know methane has a formula of CH4, and when ionised it will form CH4+. Plus. So the molecular ion is CH4+. Plus. And you can see that the furthest to the right, the, the most high, the highest peak over here, which you can see at 16, is our M plus peak. And that makes sense because if we were to work out the molecular mass of methane from first principles, we've got one carbon which has a molecular mass of 12 and we have four hydrogens, each with a molecular mass of one, which would give us 16. So you can see how we can use mass spectrum to identify the molecular mass. So, our molecules can produce these molecular ions, but they can actually go on to be broken up into further positive fragment ions and other neutral species. So let's have a look at the fragmentation pattern now. Well, fragmentation patterns are unpredictable. Different ions can be produced. Each compound will produce unique fragments. And while isomers have the same molecular ion, they may have different spectra because different fragments are produced. If we were to look at the fragmentation pattern of ethanol, well, the molecular ion produced by ethanol is C2H5OH+, plus because it's the molecular ion. Now, one of the fragments it could break down into would be CH2OH+, plus, and then we have a neutral species, which would be CH3. This would produce a peak on our mass spectra. But you can see that ethanol could break down into many other fragments as well. It could also make C2H5. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.